low hi how are you today hi teacher good evening good evening how are you doing today hunky dotty you know hunky dotty everything hunky dotty I have heard that, yes. <laughs> it's new for me. I learned today. Hunky Dotty. Oh, you learned that today? Yeah. It's okay. it's aimed to everything okay. Okay, very good. Who do you practice English with? Uh, with my uncle in January State. Mm, excellent. Uh, yeah. Hi, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing today? How was your day? Fine. I I I, I was a little tired. I have a a few. I want to to go to 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 bed now. <laughs> oh, I understand. I totally understand. Yeah, it's Thursday. We feel tired, but thank you so much for making an effort and being here. We appreciate that. And tomorrow is day off. For yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Check the record, please. I will. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is recording. So um, hopefully we will finish the class in a like normal and we're not going to um, be in the need to, um, to have classes tomorrow. OK, so uh, how are you doing with the platform? Remember that you have to um, to go ahead and uh, do as much as you can in the platform, and that is okay. All right, uh, before we start the classes, I resent the PowerPoint presentation since I modified it and added a couple of more slides for you to practice more about adverbs or adjectives. Can you see my screen now? Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to make this thing bigger. Okay, so I added a couple of slides. Yes, just to have a clearer idea on um, about adverbs and adjectives, just to make in a, um, a quick review. Uh, we talked that adverbs modify verbs adjectives and other adverbs. For example, my sister drives carefully. In this case, the adverb is modifying the verb. Mm. Yes. An adjective modifying nouns or pronouns. For example, Mike was tired after the race the noun here is Mike, the adjective mm -hmm. tired. So uh, it is modifying the noun Mike. If it would be a pronoun, what would be the pronoun here? Instead of Mike, we can use? He. He, he. Uh -huh. that would be a pronoun. So remember that adjectives can only modify noun and pronouns. Adverbs can modify verbs, adjectives, and other adverbs. Teacher, in this case, Mike was is a rule after the verb to be. Is the simple past of the verb be. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Yes. All okay. right. So, adverbs or adjective. Let's see. We have the, the adverb and the adjective, but what am I going to use for sentence number one? It says, John held the plate. What does that mean, held, teacher? Um, sostener. Ah, okay. It's the past of it's the past hold. hold. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Irregular. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so. What do I need here? Careful or carefully? Carefully. Carefully. Careful. Uh huh. And remember that they answer a question. 
How? Carefully. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that can help too. Well, to practice this, I'm going to give you, let's see, uh, four minutes for you to write if it's going to be an adverb of the adjective that we need here. You can just write the number of the sentence and the answer. For example, number one, carefully, number two, and so on. You can work in your notebook. I give you time. The plate. Julia is a around John was to look. The pay on the tires. Good evening. Good evening.
Okay, it's time. Ready to check your answers? Okay, so as you can see here, it was young health played carefully. Uh, can you read number two, Ricardo? Julia. Julia is is a careful person. Very good. Thank you so much. Reina, can, number two. Can you explain each one of the sentences, please? Because I, I don't I don't have a clear what, what is the idea of uh, adverb before or adjective? Um, what you need the explanation on when do we use an adverb or an adjective or? Yes, can, can you explain again, please? Okay, remember that, uh, well, we can use, um, forget about the word before. Vamos a, a olvidarnos aquí de la palabra before. Pues esa creo que la tenía que borrar, pero no la borré. Let's see. Okay. Eh, la voy a borrar después. Okay, uh, adverb or adjective. ¿Cuándo vamos a usar un adverb? Cuando queramos modificar un verbo, un adverbio o un noun. Los adjetivos solo modifican nouns o pronouns. En este caso de la oración 2, bueno, veamos. Eh, dice, Julia is a, y tengo la palabra person. Ok. En este caso, eh, Acuérdense que también cuando usamos un adverb, eh, usualmente se responde una pregunta. En este caso, Julia is a careful person. No puedo responder ninguna pregunta acá. Eh, en, uh -huh. Y estoy modificando un nombre. ¿Cuál es el nombre? Persona. Entonces utilizo un adjetivo. Right? Careful. Right? En el caso de la 1, John held the plate. Entonces aquí no puedo poner un, un adjetivo. Tengo que poner un adverbio porque está, estaría modificando y también puede contestar una pregunta. ¿Qué, ¿Qué es lo que sostenía John? ¿O cómo sostenía el plato? Right? Los adverbs can, can, um, los adverbs pueden responder preguntas como ¿qué? ¿Cómo? Right? Como vimos ayer en la slide. Entonces eso nos ayuda a definir si vamos a utilizar un adjetivo o un adverb. Si hay una pregunta que se pueda contestar, si estamos modificando un verbo, un noun o otro adverb. En el caso de los adjectives, ellos solo modifican nombres y pronombres y no podemos como contestar una pregunta cuando estamos leyendo esa oración. No sé si quedó un poquito más claro. Yes. Ok. Thank you. Ok, you're more than welcome. Now, number three, Reina, what do you, can you read number three? I, I ran, ran, um, quickly. ¿Cómo se menciona este? Quickly. 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 I, quickly. Excellent. I ran quickly to the station. Very good. Thank you so much, Reina. I ran quickly to the station. ¿Cómo corrí? Rápido. I ran quickly. Uh, yeah. Modify a verb in this case, teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. Está modificando el verbo. El verbo correr. Ajá. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Porque correr, hay maneras de correr. Exactly. Right? ¿Cómo corro? Rápido. Está modificando ese verbo. You say run is like a general idea, but if I say quickly, I am describing the verb. Okay, the journey. The journey was quick. En este caso, estoy describiendo el noun. No, the journey. journey. Ajá, el viaje. The journey was quick. 
Teacher, por la estructura quizás en este caso no se puede poner the journey quick was. Por la estructura debe de ir sujeto, verbo, and adjective. Yes, that is correct. Por eso no entiendo yo a veces. Hoy estoy entendiendo. <risa> ya está entendiendo más o menos. Sí, sí. Ok, good. Vamos a seguir porque falta el grammar chart, pero sí quise dar este, eh, un ejercicio más antes de seguir con el grammar chart y luego hay más ejercicios. Ok, Milton, can you read the question in number five? Um, Heidi, can you read number five, please? Hi, teacher. Hi. You, you look tired, di did not you sleep well? Okay, thank you so much. Uh, number six, Maria, Maria Catalina. The baby rubbed her eyes tightly. Okay, very good, thank you so much. Jose Ventura. Yes, number seven. Please. She sang happily. Very good. Thank you so much. Dahlia, number eight. You, saw, you sound happy. I'm very good. Thank you so much. Glenda, number nine. I speak English well. Thank you so much. Uh, Griselda, number 10. Her English is good. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Alfredo, number 11. Her English is good. Ah, All perdón. Right. He, she cooks terrible. Aha, uh -huh, terribly. She cooks terribly. Uh, Mauricio, number 12. He is a terrible cook. Okay, he is a terrible cook. Uh, good job. Okay. Otro ejemplo donde pueden ver la diferencia es en el 11. She cooks. Para mm -hmm. modificar un verbo, vamos a usar un adverb. She cooks terribly. Y aquí que estamos modificando en la 12, el noun sí. cook. Sí. Aquí es como un no, no, noun. No. Ah, okay. él, él es un cocinero terrible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. Yes, remember that the word cook, la palabra cook, tiene ambas funciones. Sí. Yes. Como acción es la acción de cocinar y como nombre es la profesión, cocinero okay. o chef. Uh -huh. okay. Now, um, did we watch this video yesterday? I don't recall. Adverb before adjective. So, uh, yeah, we watched this video yesterday, so remember, here it says adverbs before adjectives, we have some yeah. examples. San Juan is really nice. Okay, the adjective here, el adjetivo aquí es nice. Adverb really. It's fairly big. Adjective is big. Fairly is the adverb. It's not very expensive. Adjective, expensive. Adverb, very. Mm -hmm. It's too noisy and it's too crowded for me. Okay. Adverb, too. Adjective, noisy. Okay. Uh, it's a really nice city. It's a fairly big city. It's not very expensive place. Estamos utilizando ambas cosas. ¿Para qué? En este caso usamos un adverb before an adjective para darle realce a ese adjetivo. Porque si yo solo digo San Juan is nice, es como muy simple, ¿verdad? San uh -huh. Juan is nice. Pero si realmente me impresionó y si realmente me pareció tan bonito, puedo utilizar un adverb. It's really nice. Ok, eh, podemos decir que viajar a Europa es caro. Traveling to Europe is expensive. 
Yeah, but uh, that, like the word expensive is very simple. So you can see it's really expensive. Entonces le damos eh, como inflamos ese, ese adjetivo con el que estamos calificando. Le damos más realce al ponerle un adverbio antes. Esa es la idea principal de, de, de este tema. And no sé si me comprendieron bien. Yes. Ok. Y tenemos unos adverbs aquí que podemos utilizar. Ok. Let's repeat. Extremely. Extremely. Very. Extremely. Very. Really. 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 Okay, questions here? Do we have questions? Yes, teacher. Uh, what the meaning somewhat? Somewhat. Okay, somewhat is like de alguna forma. Mm -hmm. Somewhat. Mm. Uh, for example, I, you, you can say, um, I think that um, dark chocolate, it's somewhat delicious. No? In a way, delicious, yeah. El chocolate oscuro tiende a ser amargo, pero de alguna forma se siente bien. Es, es rico, somewhat. But it's somewhat delicious. Right? And I said somewhat. somewhat in a kind of, yes? When, when I use two. Two, it's como like say demasiado. In this case, somewhat is a advert and delicious adjective. Uh, yes, that okay. is correct. Okay. Excellent, Walter. <laughs> Teacher. Yes. In pretty. 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 What does it mean pretty? Okay, remember that pretty, it has two functions. El pretty tiene dos funciones. En este caso, cuando lo utilizamos como um, adverb, es como para decir bastante. Right? Okay. Uh, uh -huh. Nico, uh, you remember uh, the movie Pretty Woman? Uh, uh, it's possible, muy bonita. Ah, para decir muy bonito sería pretty um, women. Uh, no, yeah. Esperen, me voy a sacar la pizza. In this case, it's adjective. Oh, pretty. It's adjective. Pretty girl. We are going to be a review because that, oh, that is very used. So you say pretty. Pretty. Oh, but it's using cups. Don't, don't worry. Mm -hmm. Teacher, uh, can you repeat what is the meaning the word uh, somewhat, please? In a way. Okay, wh what are the functions that we hear, see here with pretty? And the first one is an adjective, teacher, describe a noun. And the second one is an adverb to describe an adjective. Excellent teacher, Walter. <laughs> ah, I got it, teacher. I, I understand. Okay, I'm happy to hear that. So it's like, um, okay, it's like um, pretty, in este caso es un, un adjetivo. Yes, estamos yes. calificando un no. noun, persona, un nombre. Ajá. No. Acuérdense que cuando decimos noun, un noun puede ser cualquier cosa. Noun puede oh, ser okay. taza, computadora, mujer, eh, perro, gato. Eso nos referimos a un noun. Aquí, oh, okay. cuando modifica un noun, entonces es un adjetivo. Entonces aquí el significado es bonita. Estoy modificando la, el, el nombre mujer. Mujer bonita. Okay. Mujer es okay. un nombre común. 
Ya, yeah, woman, right? Yes. It's a common noun. Pero si yo le pongo el adjetivo para describirla, le pongo bonita. Yeah, pretty woman. Okay, it's the adjective. Okay. Aquí, expensive. ¿Qué es expensive? Caro. Ajá, es, significa caro. Es un adverb, right? Um, no, pero es un adjective. Un adjetivo. Yes, ¿Qué significa? Yes, Ajá, es un adjetivo. Yes. Es para calificar algo. Eh, eh, yo puedo decir... Um, uh, I can say the... Um, um, Pretty is an adverb in this case, teacher. Okay, uh -huh. so I valid. can say this is a, like, a, a, yo puedo decir en medicina, eh, mm -hmm. eh, pero es like common, right? Eh, I can say that it, it is expensive. Estoy diciendo que la medicina esta es cara. Mm -hmm. It's expensive. Entonces eso es un, es un adjetivo. Estoy describiendo adjetivo. que es cara. Pero... Si sí, me parece que es bastante caro, entonces le pongo el pretty. Y ya ahí el pretty no es, es la función que está cumpliendo es. Realce. Está, es, está realzando el adjetivo. Es un adverbio que está realzando un adjetivo. ¿Okay? Es carísimo. Es muy caro, bastante caro. Right? Igual aquí, okay. aquí tenemos el, ad, el, el adjective good. Bien, pero si le ponemos pretty, lo estamos levantando ese adjective, lo estamos realzando con el adverb pretty. Ok, bastante bien. Pretty good, bastante bien o bastante Muy bien, bueno. teacher. Uh, yeah, pretty good, muy bien, bastante bien. Oh. Eh, ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. Is that clear? Yes, yes, thank you. It's clear. Very good. Si no, más ejemplos, that's okay. Uh, any other question? ¿Tienen alguna otra pregunta? Hi, teacher. Uh, can you repeat, please, the meaning of the word somewhat? Okay, with the word somewhat, es como decir algo o de alguna manera o un tanto. Ok, thank you. Uh -huh. Un tanto. Any other question? No. Okay, um, okay, uh, match the questions with the answers, and then we're going to practice this short conversations with a partner. Uh, let's see, number one, it says, what's so like? It's an, is it an interesting place? How would you answer that one? With A, B, C, or D, or E? I think so, letter B. C. Okay, I heard letter C. Very good. Uh, let's see. Um, it will be like, what's so like? Is it an interesting place? It's really nice in the summer, but it's too cold for me in the winter. So number one, letter C. Let's go ahead and do it in the notebook, right? Number two, A, B, D. What is the answer in number two? What is the one that matches number two? I'll give you a couple of minutes for you to read, analyze, and write your answer. Letter D. I teach you letter D. Okay, very Let's good. Continue. Number two, letter D. Do you like uh, your hometown? Why or why not? Not really. It's too small really. and it's really boring. That's why I moved away. Number 
What's in the light? Hey. What's in the light? You answer there is B. Oh really? No, I don't know. Letter eight. Letter A. A. Letter E. Okay, um, let's see. Hmm, we got a mistake here. Number one, what's not like, is it an interesting place? Como nos están haciendo la pregunta, is it? Is it an interesting place? Okay. Ahí tendría que ser yes. Ajá, porque nos te están preguntando, ¿es un lugar interesante? Sí. It has amazing shopping and the people are pretty friendly. Okay. Yes, the, the yes. one uh, yes. it's easy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a question. Yes, yes. we got this yes. question. Yes. What's yes. all like? Y luego hay otra pregunta acá. Is it interesting place? Interesting yes, place. it has the amazing answer. shopping. So, letter number B. one, letter E. Yes. Number three uh, could be uh, letter C. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think the number five five is a little C no I, I think so yes uh-huh the answer number five the answer is Larry Larry C or what is the weird okay let's check so number one we said is letter E Number two, do you like your hometown? Why or why not? Uh, we say letter D, not really. It's too small and it's really boring. That's why I moved away. Number three, what's Sydney like? I have never been there. I think the number three is A because uh, the person say, I never been there. And the other person answer, oh, really? Excellent. Excellent job, Ricardo. That one is, oh, really? It's beautiful okay. and very clean. It has great harbor and beautiful beaches. Uh, number four. Letter B. Letter B. Aha. Uh -huh. okay. Have you been yeah. to Sao Paulo? Yes, I have. It's an extremely large and crowded place, yeah. but I love it. It has excellent restaurants. Okay, and finally, number five. Is letter C, did you? Mm -hmm. Yes, letter C. What's the weather like in Chicago? It's really nice in the summer, but it's too cold for me in the winter. Cool. So you have any question about this exercise or maybe vocabulary? Yes, what is Harbor? Uh, harbor is un puerto. Puerto, con T. Mm -hmm. Sounds a movie per Harbor. Yeah, no, I didn't watch yeah. that one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but Harbor, yes, is Puerto. Eh, también tiene que ver con es eh, aislar, ocultar, hospedar. Tiene varios significados. El principal es Puerto. Teacher, mm -hmm. in the word hometown is a place, or what is the meaning? The hometown. Uh, hometown es el, el lugar donde usted vive. Es similar a decir neighborhood. Es similar. Oh, okay. But home, yeah, hometown. Okay, thank you.
Any other question? No question, that's okay. Okay, we have the conjunctions here. So we're going to watch the video and then discuss and practice those conjunctions. Uh, let's see. Oh my God, it's too slow. Too slow, adjective and elbow. <laughs> yeah. Hi, nice to see you again. This time we'll talk about conjunctions. We'll talk about and, but, though, and however. After the explanation, we want you to practice. So please stay with us. Conjunctions. It's an exciting city and the weather is nice. It's a big city, but it's not too big. It's a big city. It's not too big though. It's a big city. It's not too big, however. We use AND to connect two positive or two negative ideas. For example, the city's ugly and small. Canada is a big country and very clean. Notice there are two ideas in each sentence which are joined by the conjunction AND. Therefore, we can give more or extra information. Did you notice which punctuation goes before AND? That's right, a comma. Let's talk about the conjunction BUT. This one connects a positive idea with a negative one, and it goes in the middle of a sentence, and a comma goes before the conjunction as well. Follow me in these examples. The park is clean, but it is very small. The food is good, but it is very expensive. We have two conjunctions left, though and however. These two conjunctions are also used to connect a positive idea with a negative one, but they go at the end of the sentence. Take a look. It's a big city. It's not too crowded, though. He's really good looking. He's not nice, however. Can you write one sentence using though and another one using and? Do it in our discussion box. You may follow our examples as a guide. Okay. Okay, well, this is what you already watched in the video. Those were the conjunctions. Remember that the main or the function of this is to put sentences together. Uh, so what that's what they are um, they are used for. Uh, to put sentences together in the case of and it can put together two positive ideas or it can be uh, negative ideas and then we have but though and however they contrast right a positive idea with a negative one uh, was the video clear enough or you have any question in regards of this no questions What, what is the difference between thou and however? Uh, they have the same meaning. Remember that there are some words that um, 
eh, ambas son para indicar contraste. El significado es básicamente el mismo. Lo que nos ayuda es como a ampliar vocabulario. Para no usar la misma palabra, podemos eh, variarlas. Ok, thank you. Eh, el, el doubt es como decir aunque y el however podría ser like sin embargo. Si queremos como darle un significado en español, que no lo recomiendo mucho. Any other question? What is the meaning bargain? Uh, bargain is like um, regatear. Oh, okay. Regatear is como pedir de, déjeme lo entanto, like for, <laughs> Okay. Yes, we do it uh, frequently. Okay. <laughs> uh, how much are the tomatoes? Uh, four for a dollar. <laughs> Give me five. Yeah. Five for one dollar. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That is the meaning of bargain. It's like negotiate, regatear, negociar, precios. Okay. Um, any other question? All the conjunctions, remember, como están haciendo oraciones, va a ir precedidas de una coma. Se mencionaba en el video. Okay, let's choose the correct conjunctions and rewrite the sentences. Vamos um, a poner la, la conjunction correcta. Tenemos dos opciones. Vamos a escoger una. Eh, hagamos la primera oración. Taipei is very nice. Everyone and. is extremely friendly. And. Say and. Ajá, ¿por qué and? Eh, porque está hablando de que el lugar es genial y que este, las, eh, como las personas son bastante amigables. A positive ideas. Estamos yes. uniendo ambas ideas son positivas. Ajá, exacto. Right. So, let us continue with the rest of the sentences. Remember, pueden solo escribir el número y la opción correcta, ¿verdad? No es necesario que escriban todo para que no pierdan tanto tiempo. De igual forma, pues ahí tienen el material por si quieren escribirlo y practicarlo más tarde. Transcribirlo en el cuaderno, imprimirlo. It's up to you. Some of them here. However, shopping is great. You have a two and the mag, but you have near uh, this amazing city. We low to a world we were
Okay, uh, volunteer to read the number two. Me, teacher. Okay, Glenda. The streets are crowded, so it's easy to get around. Okay, yes, because it's like they are crowded, so it's easy to get around, right? It's easy to get around, though, yes. Very good, that is the correct option. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, number three. Me, teacher. Okay, Walter, thank you. The weather is nice. Summers get really hot, however. Okay, very good. The correct one is however. Now, number four, volunteer for number four. Four. The shopping is great book. You have me, teacher. Number four in the market. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Thank you so much, the Mrs. And number five, the last one. It's an amazing city and I love to go there. Excellent. Very good job, Maria. Uh, right. Now, questions. I see that you did an excellent job with this one. So can you create your at least one sentence on your own. My own words. Yes, one, at least one sentence. Take, see these examples that you already did and create one sentence on your own. Um, a smoke, a smoking is, is dangerous for health. But no. However, my grandpa and continue smoking. Okay, very good. Excellent sentence. Another volunteer? The, yes. no, number two, teacher. Okay, I heard Milton. What did you want to say something? The streets are pollution and it's very dangerous. Okay, good. You are putting together two negative statements, right? Excellent job. Any other volunteer? No more examples? Teacher, I... Pues, cuando quiere decir, tengo que seguir. I have to continue. I have to continue. Ok, entonces un ejemplo sería, I am so tired, but I am to continue. I have to continue. Excellent. Uh -huh. I am tired, but I have to continue. Good. Okay, so in this case, in this slide, you have the, the answers for the previous exercise. Okay, the answers of the previous exercises are here. And let's see, we have a kind of review. Use and for additional information. For example, the food is delicious and it is not expensive. Use but, though, so, and however, for contrasting information. The food is delicious, but it's very expensive. Or we can say the food is delicious. It's expensive though, or it's expensive. The food is delicious. It's expensive, however. Okay, so that's kind of review of that topic. Miss. Yes? I, I want to know if my sentence is, this sentence is correct. Uh, my dog is pretty big, however, doesn't bite. Is it 
correct. Yes, excellent. Okay, thank you. Okay, conversation. What should I see there? We're going to listen the conversation and then we're going to practice. Let me share the video. trying to play this conversation. Hi, I want you to listen to this conversation and try to identify the modal verbs which are being introduced in this audio program. Also, it is recommended for you to practice this conversation with someone else. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure I can. What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. It all sounds really exciting. All right, so uh, the conversation that you just heard is the one that we have here in the presentation as well. Okay, here we go. All right, that was the conversation. Esta fue la conversación que acaban de escuchar, right? So let us take um, a look at it and tell me if you have any question. This topic is about the, the models, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, let's practice the conversation and then you tell me if you have questions about it. Let's repeat. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Can you tell Can me a little, about, a little, Mexico little, about, little about, about Mexico City? Sure, what would you like to know? Sure, sure. what would you like to know? What would you like to know? Well, I'm going to be there next month, but for only two days. What should I see? Well, I'm well, going to be there I next month, but for only two days. What should I see? What should I see? What should I see? Should I see? Oh, you should definitely visit the Palace of Fine Art. It's really beautiful. Oh, oh, you definitely oh, miss the palace of fine art. Really beautiful. Really beautiful. Really beautiful. You shall be missing me. Okay, anything else? Okay, so, anything okay. else? Okay. Okay. Anything else? Okay. You shouldn't okay. miss the Museum okay. of Modern okay. Art. It has some amazing paintings. You should miss the museum of modern art. Modern art. Some amazing paintings. Amazing paintings. Great. And is there anything I can do for free? Great. Is there anything I can do for free? I can do for free. Sure. You can walk in the parks, go outdoor markets, or just watch people. It's a fascinating city. 
Okay, now guess what? I have the function to create the breakout rooms. Okay. So okay. we're going okay. to get into the breakout rooms to practice this conversation. Uh, remember that you will see a pop-up message on your screen. So you have to click join or unirse. And then when the time's over, it will automatically uh, place you in, in the, let's see, I have 21, 20, let's see. I create three with twenty four five. Uh, Did you see that message? No, did you? Oh. No. Oh no, that means. But it says in progress. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, let me do it again. Let's see the option. Okay, can you see that one now? No. No? No. But I'm no. seeing that message. <laughs> okay. okay, I see that message. I'm going to close the rooms again. Uh, Now? What about now? No. 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 Okay. I'm going to leave it like that for now, and we're going to do it here in the main section. So, volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, Walter Me teacher. and. Me, teacher. No veo quién es. Quien es, quien es Reina. Okay, Walter, you are Thomas, and Reina, you are Elena. Okay. okay. Can you tell me a little? Can you tell me? Oh, sorry. Can you tell me a little about about Mexico City? Sure. What would you like to know? Well, I'm going to be there next month, but for only two days. What should I see? Oh, the show. Definitely visit the, the parts of the fire art to review. Okay, anything else? Uh, do you should land with the museum or modern art? It has some amazing. Great. And is there anything I can do for free? Sure. The game was in the park. Go, go to outdoor markets or the fights before it's Okay. Very nice. Good job. So let's repeat here. Museum. 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 And, and this Museum. In the auxiliary remember shouldn't. 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 Sh
Paint. 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 Hey, good. Uh, do we have other two volunteers? Me, teacher. Me, teacher, Dalia. Milton and Dalia. Okay, Milton, you're Thomas and Dalia, you're Elena. Okay. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure. What would you like to know? Well, I'm going to be there next month, but for only today. What should I see? Oh, you should definitely visit the Palace of Fine Arts. It's truly really beautiful. Okay. Anything else? You shouldn't miss the Museum of Modern Art. It has some amazing paintings. Great. And um, is there anything I can do for free? Sure. You can walk in the parks, go to outdoor, outdoor markets, or just watch people. It's a fascinating city. Okay. Great. Excellent job. So I have Glenda. Who would like to practice with Glenda? Teacher, outdoors is como cercano, vecino, no sé. No, el outdoor se, es como al aire libre. Ah, ok. Ajá, si decimos outdoor market, son como mercado al aire libre. Oh. Ok. Uh, we can also put like examples de an outdoor cafe. Mm -hmm. Outdoor cafe, uh, it can be like... Um, there is an outdoor cafe which has been very famous uh, lately. It's um, Cafe Santa Cruz. It's an outdoor cafe. Es un cafe en el aula en el lago de Lopango y está como al aire libre. Tiene mesas al aire libre, entonces es un outdoor cafe. Yeah. Okay. There are some outdoor restaurants as well. También hay como restaurantes al aire libre. In the, yeah, you can find a lot of outdoor restaurants in uh, the volcano of San Salvador, for yeah. example. Mm -hmm. yeah. Outdoor, like outdoor activities as well. We can say mm -hmm. um, outdoor activities, like for example, camping, picnicking, son actividades al aire libre. Hiking. The camping, picnicking. Hiking is another outdoor activity. Mm -hmm. So la palabra for example, outdoor is like a language. Teacher, yes? Teacher, for, for example, a meeting outdoor. Ah, yes. Now with this COVID situation, outdoor yeah. meetings are the best option. <laughs> okay. Yes, to have outdoor meetings. Right. Very Thank good. Um, now we have Glenda. Vamos los últimos dos. Glenda, ¿y quién me iba a ayudar con Glenda? Me, me teacher, David. Okay, David, you can start, David. Uh, can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure. What would you like to know? Well, I'm going to be there next month, but for only two days. What shall I see? I see. Uh, you should definitely visit the place of fine art. It's really beautiful. Okay, Any, anything else? You shouldn't miss the, mu the Museum of Modern Art. It has some amazing paintings. Great, great. And is there anything I can do for free? Sure, you can walk in the park, go to outdoor markets, or just watch people. It's a fantastic city. Okay, good. It is a fascinating. Fascinating city. Uh -huh. A fascinating city. Yes. Those are kind of words that can be like complicated, but the best thing that we can do is to continue practicing until we get it. Another word that we need to be careful with is the word modern. Modern. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Because modern. if you say the music or modern art, it's como el del Museo de la Arte de la Madre, right? So you need to pronounce yeah, the N, modern. Modern. Yeah, yes, the Museum like modern. of Modern yes. Arts. Yes. <laughs> so, tenemos que hacer el mm, at the end, modern. <laughs> Modern arts, modern. because see the house open like mother is mama. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. So 
good job, everybody. Just uh, keep on practicing. Remember that you have those um, conversations available in the platform. Pueden escucharlas, pueden repetirlas as many times as you consider necessary. Remember that it takes a lot of repetition for pronunciation. It's the best thing that you can do is to keep on practicing. And yeah, we're going to stop here today. Time is over. Uh, I wish you have a nice weekend. Be careful, take care, wash your hands, wear your mask, stay safe, and see you on Monday. <laughs> Thank you, Miss. Okay. See you on Monday. Good teacher. Night. Have a nice week, okay. teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, teacher. 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 Bye,